Welcome to Inside Bremerton. This is the City of Bremerton's video newsletter, focusing on issues and topics important to its citizens. I'm joined today by Carolyn Stein. Carolyn is working with sponsorship. She's the treasurer, but she is, I think, the lead spokesperson, person I've been in touch with, regarding the Washington State Science and Engineering Fair. This fair has been going on in Bremerton for 54 years. Correct. And it will be held April 1st and 2nd, mm -hmm. Bremerton High School. Huge, huge event. Um, I met Carolyn at a city council study session because she gets funding from the hotel motel tax. Yes. And I said to Carolyn, you and I need to talk. I need to help you talk more about this event. And welcome, here Thank we are. You to Thank talk you. about this great fair. So give us the history of the fair. 54 years ago, how did this all start? Well, in 1957, a Bremerton resident, Gwen Crosswaite, had an idea. She wanted a science fair for her children in the local school. And she worked with the Bremerton PTA, and the first science fair was born. And from that time forward, it's uh, changed through the western side of Washington State, to now where it includes the entire state. We're the only state fair of its kind, the Washington State Science and Engineering Fair. Wow, very cool. So when I, I, when I ask why Bremerton, it's because she lived here and she wanted it here. Well, it's why Bremerton is because that was the, in, exactly, it was the start of it all. Uh -huh. But also Bremerton has been a very good host to us. Uh, Bremerton businesses support us, Bremerton community service groups, they pledge their support. Our government entities, they, they help through the motel, hotel tax, mm -hmm. uh, and different kinds of sponsorships. So it should stay in Bremerton. Carolyn, tell us about the kids that participate. Are these kids that have been in their school science fair that have moved up to this level? Who are the kids that participate? Oh, that's a good one. Every child throughout Washington State, grades 1 through 12, is eligible. It doesn't matter if they're public, private, parochial, or homeschool. They're all eligible. And if they have a, a science fair in their local schools, we are an educational outreach. We advocate for those kinds of things. And uh, they can go there, but they can also come to our fair. Now, if there's a regional fair within the state, then they're required through the, the um, different rules that they attend the regional fair first. Mm -hmm. But every child grades 1 through 12 is eligible. That's just cool. Tell us about the businesses that are going to help at this event. Who are, who are they? And oh. There's a magnitude. There are. It takes a, it takes a lot to put it on. We have, uh, we have, right now, we have more than $1.6 million worth of scholarships and awards for our kids this April. And every one of those dollars is donated. This is something that um, is, comes in, just goes directly through us to the children. So that's great. And the businesses, we have our major sponsors. And uh, that's the Boeing Company, Olympic College, the City of Bremerton, the Kitsap County, um, Ohio Wesleyan University, Whitman College. Hmm. Uh, we have the Evergreen State College. We have uh, SPIA. We have uh, just a multitude of good, good people behind us. Mm -hmm. And those sponsors come back every year because they know how important this this is, they, and you probably have, add sponsorships. Yes, we have some that are, are brand new to us this year, um, but we do have some that come back year after year, and they've grown. Eureka uh, F and AM uh, Lodge Number no. Twenty is one of them. They bring uh, judges now. They they help with the awards. Uh, it's just it's a good outreach. Mm -hmm. So the event's going to be held Bremerton High School April first and second. Tell us about what happens on the first day, April 1st. Well, one of our major sponsors, Bonneville Power Administration, uh, they send a slew of volunteers, which we're very thankful for nice. every year. And they come throughout uh, the different regions, not just locally in Kitsap. This is, a, this is truly a draw from across the state. And uh, they send their volunteers. We help set up. We register the kids. And they go in, and they'll set up their uh, projects. And then there'll be a, a judge's training. And then after that, they'll start judging themselves. But in conjunction with that, this year we're doing something a little different. We're having a science film festival. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I want to hear about that, yeah. 
Well, the Science Film Festival will be starting on Friday and will run all day Saturday as well. These are free movies. There'll be a dozen of them. They are first line movies. They'll be, run, they'll be run on a box light, another one of our major sponsors, box light equipment in the Bremerton Performing Arts Center. Perfect. And uh, on the big screen. So it'll be a nice quality. So if you're a resident of Kitsap County or I'm sure there's going to be people from all over the place. Mm -hmm. If you come down to see the fair, you can take a break and go watch a cool movie. Exactly. See the great exhibits that these kids have worked on exactly. and then go watch a cool movie. Exactly. The, uh, the fair is open to the public so they can see some of the projects. The films, again, they're free. There'll be uh, food services through the Knights Cafe. So there's a lot to, to see and to do both days. Carolyn, how many um, kids participate. How many kids do you that are going to enter? Do you have any idea how many? You never know until those entry forms come in. We are planning on uh, this year uh, up to 450 participants. Of course, that doesn't include all the support teams that come with it, the judges mm -hmm. and teachers and mentors and parents and that. Mm -hmm. And we've already received notice that they're coming from as far away as the eastern side of the state. And some of our scholarships, are, of course, are from uh, across the, the state lines. So it's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Is there an award? Now, so Friday is for younger kids, is that correct? Correct. And then so Saturday is for high school, junior high, high right. school? Yeah, what we have is we have grades um, 1 through 6 on Friday and 7 through 12 on uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday evening at 6 o'clock is the award ceremony. That's exactly what I was getting at. So there's one award ceremony for all ages? Correct. Very correct. nice. Correct. And is that also when scholarships are awarded and yes. that whole thing? Yes. Wow, that's a tremendous amount of work in it is. one or two days. It is. We'll be tired, but it'll be <laughs> so worth it. But very, very rewarding. Um, Carolyn, mm -hmm. do you need help? Can we people, need help. Can people get involved? Can, Absolutely. Can they help you? Can We're looking for attendees. We want everybody in Bremerton to come down and check this out because it's huge mm -hmm. and it's really a feather in our hats. But if you would like to volunteer, if you'd like to judge, um, volunteer in a number of aspects, how do they reach you? Where should they go? Well, the first place would be, of course, the website, which is the www.wssef.org. And the best part of that is, is that during the fair, we need judges. Without a doubt, we need judges. We need them to experience the kids. Those are our futures. Those are, the, mm -hmm. you know, those are the future scientists and engineers of tomorrow. And they get to see firsthand their experiments. They get to listen to their presentations. They can see how their writing skills are improved through their logs and their journals. And these kids are grand. I'm telling you, just listening to them talk, it's just it is really heart rendering and it uh, it's very informative you can learn everything from um, whether a bean plant grows better with music or dirt and soil <laughs> and water or a star in a jar and so it, it is really good very cool stuff and they can also go beyond though just the science fair day we need people to promote the science in our schools. We need them to go to science clubs, to their children's organizations, so that these kids get this hands-on experience and they understand that they're the ones that are going to make the big discoveries for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's important. It's important we support them. It's, it's just amazing that the city of Bremerton, or this event, the Washington State Science and Engineering Fair, has been held in Bremerton for 54 years. It is one of the best kept secrets, I think. So we want people to, number one, know about the secret. Number two, bring your friends, family, tell everybody about it, and come on out and support these kids. And if you have time, if you're interested in judging, volunteering, helping Carolyn make it through those wonderful <laughs> two days, go to the website. And the website again, Carolyn? www.wssef.org. Washington State States and Science and, and, and Engineering, engineering Fair. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful. Absolutely. Carolyn, um, the city of Bremerton is a supporter, and they do um, give money to this event through the hotel motel tax because that's yes. what this is all about. This is bringing people out of our community, out from outside the community, and bringing them in. Absolutely. And Absolutely. And experiencing our we fabulous town and... We eating have in a, our restaurants and staying in our hotels. 
absolutely. We have uh, just received a letter from Odessa High School that they will be coming. And so they're bringing, uh, they're bringing students and they're already talking. And they're not just staying the one night, they're staying for the entire weekend. They mm -hmm. want to, as they put it, they wanted to ride the ferry. They're from the other side of the state. A ferry mm -hmm. is a pretty big deal for them. Ferry's a big deal. They want to ride the ferry. They want to experience the, uh, the waterfront park area. They want to go down and see the fountains and there are some of the museums and some of the things they don't get to see otherwise. Mm -hmm. It is important mm -hmm. and it is a chance. You know, it, it doesn't matter whether the students are from, you know, rural Washington or downtown Metropolis. Everyone has the same opportunity to go to their one and only state fair. They should come. Exactly. And the people should come and help us see it. Excellent. So. The 54th Annual Washington State Science and Engineering Fair is Friday and Saturday, April 1 and 2, Bremerton High School. So it's easily accessible, great parking come on down and see what these kids are up to and um, give them some encouragement because we know science is lacking in our in our curriculum in our schools and it's so very very important that it is thanks Carolyn so much for coming in and thanks for all your hard work on this event we know you are truly committed to this event well it's not just me thank you very much <laughs> but it's a it's a true it's a true uh, volunteer board it's all the volunteers that come with it and all the judges and the students themselves. And it's the teachers. We have some great teachers. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, we even have a teacher seminar that we'll be holding on Saturday nice. in conjunction with the fair. And we're holding a, it's a teacher seminar They'll for clock hours or materials, and it's how to bring science projects into the classroom. Perfect. So if you're an educator of any type, come on in. Excellent. Thanks for joining us inside Bremerton, and thanks, Carolyn, for coming in. We'll see you next time.